If you could have a guide, someone to help you tell your story, give you the tools to reach your ideal customer, lead you to living your dreams and turning a profit, would you follow it? Everyone, every passion has a place in this world and each has the potential to be unstoppable. It's time to buckle up and tune in to your personal strategist, life purpose coach and marketing maven, Lindy Chafin Start. Hello, hello, friends. Welcome to Unstoppable on this bright, sunshiny Wednesday in Atlanta. I am your host, uh, Lindy Chafin Start. And the owner and creative director of Unstoppable Start Studios based here in Atlanta, but we work nationwide um, and hopefully soon internationally. So we have vendors who are international. We don't have any clients who are international just yet. But we're working in that direction. Um, Today show is all about loving yourself and your small business. We're calling it Show yourself some love. Um, that's my hashtag because I'm a grown up and I talk in hashtags just like in that commercial. <laughs> I, yes, I know what a hashtag is meant to be um, and I know what it's for, but I still like to talk in hashtags because it's it's a fun way to emphasize things. So uh, it just makes me giggle that they made that <laughs> commercial about us nonsensical grown ups who... Um, don't understand the young people these days. It's really funny. So, um, so welcome. It's uh, it's very easy as a small business owner to forget to show yourself some love. Business too. So we're going to talk today about not losing yourself in all of this. It's so easy to do. Um, we're going to talk about being present. And then just ways you can take care of yourself and your business and and not break the bank. Um, so so let's just jump on in there. I'm going to share with you some of my backstory. Not that you haven't heard this before. Um, and I welcome. Please jump into the to the chat room or dial us up. And uh, and if you have any questions or just want to talk about where you are in your attempt not to lose yourself in running your small business or even living your life or having a job, feel free to ring us up and let's have a conversation about it. Um, so a little bit about me, aside from the fact that I am owner and creative director here at the studio, um, I'm a self-made woman. <laughs> Isn't that the funniest sounding thing you've ever heard? Um, I am a divorced, single mom, entrepreneur, mompreneur. Um, I am room mom for my daughter's class at school. Um, I have been her Girl Scout troop leader. I am chief cook and bottle washer here at the house. Uh, she pitches in, don't get me wrong, she's a great teammate, and I'm so grateful for her every second of every minute of every day, till 11, <laughs> so I remain chief cook and bottle washer, except for feeding the animals, taking out the trash, um, maybe picking up the dinner dishes. She is kind, and when I fall asleep on the couch at 8 o'clock at night, she covers me up like it. <laughs> This is my forehead. Uh, who's the parent here? Eh, I wonder sometimes. But um, the whole point of showing yourself some love is that chief cook and bottle washer, whether you have a spouse or not, whether you have children or not, whether you have animals or not, um, you lose yourself. I... I'm grateful that I have friends that remind me to take a break every other Friday or Saturday night and we all go to dinner. But otherwise, you can find me here in the studio <laughs> or uh, like this morning at 630, I was up making um, Valentine goodie bags. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. And we're in fifth grade now, and fifth graders apparently don't exchange valentines. So I was up making um, 
goodie bags that, of course, is Room Mom. I have garnered contributions for from the other parents in the class. And I've got an assembly line set up in my kitchen, and I'm making 25 goodie bags. It doesn't sound like a lot of work, and it's really not. It's mindless work, but it's still time-consuming. You know, 45 minutes later, we have 25 goodie bags. Um, And then, of course, and this brought me to tears, and I think it was just finally my level of frustration gave way. It's like a dam, you know, it wells up in your soul. You hold all this stuff in that just drives you crazy. And there's been a lot of crazy making stuff lately. And this morning when I had the goodie bags all in this giant shopping sack with the extras that were left over for the other classes, and I was like, okay, so I'm just going to walk you in this morning instead of dropping you in carpool. I'm going to park and we're going to walk in together and I'll give these to the ladies at the office like has been requested of me. And I go to pull in the parking lot to park in visitor parking and their cones set up because it's carpool time. And I'm like, I just want to deliver the damn bags. <laughs> so my level of frustration at having to turn around and leave the parking lot and being waved off by one of the superintendent people um, has like, you know, I'm mad at this point. I'm like, really? Like, I, I do all of this stuff for these kids. And now I have to park up the block <laughs> and walk all the way in. And and it, it just it feels very frustrating. And, of course, the principal's standing out there waving at the pay through carpool, and he sees me with these goodie bags. And I go in, and I drop them off, and I'm seething. I mean, outwardly, I'm not seething. I, you know, I'm just I'm frustrated. I get Annalise at the door hand the ladies the bags, kiss her goodbye, and walk out. And he said, oh, my gosh, Lindy, I'm so sorry. He said, if anything, you are a rule follower, and we never turn away rule followers. <laughs> He's right. I am a rule follower. I I don't make a left into the carpool lane. <laughs> I come up the street. You know, come at it forward facing. I'm that girl. Um, He's like, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize what was going on. Um, next time, you know, roll the window down and let us know so we can accommodate you because we're happy to do that. Like, it's, you know, it's not a big deal. I appreciate you saying something. But when I turned to walk away, I just burst into tears because, honestly, I spend so much of my life feeling very unsupported, and that's not for any other reason than I'm a single mom small business owner divorced. Uh, I just went on a first date with somebody this week. It's the first date I've been on in, this is the first first date I've been on in six years. So, uh, (laughs) so welcome to my life. Um, But that's kind of my story. Uh, But I, I burst into tears walking away thinking I really, like part of it was I really do appreciate him saying something that made my heart sing at the at the same time I just felt like good lord I am swimming upstream I am swimming upstream against a crazy ass car and I'm pulling trying to save somebody's life pulling her behind me or pulling her beside me And there's nobody to grab my hand. And that is some really emotionally jarring shit to deal with every day. Um, So y'all are getting to see the the nuts and bolts, the real side of me and my babies. (laughs) <laughs> my business baby and my 11-year-old baby today, and um, you'll learn I stop and regroup and take control, retake control of my life, um, and I hope that it can help you in your process of being a small business owner 
to not lose yourself, not lose that control. Um, so we're going to get in to these, to these ways that we do this. Um, okay, so let's start with have a little fun. Number one for today, have a little fun. Now, I'm not talking about going to see a movie with friends and bowling with friends. I'm not talking about friends. I'm talking about doing something with yourself that's fun. Ooh, there's a comfort level here that a lot of us can't deal with. Um, I know I struggle with it, but if you can overcome that heebie-jeebie sense you get when you do stuff by yourself, um, then I think I know I have experienced uh, great amounts of joy. So, and it's not, I mean, it's not like you can't do inside your home, but the point is to get out and try new things and do fun things. Do something that's fun for you. Um, and do it on your own. You don't, and I know in the grand, in the grand relationship, somebody to bear witness to your life. I get it. Um, but you have to figure out how to have fun living that life first. So take um, an art class at your local college. Every college in every town has a continuing education program, everyone. And all they can be very diverse. Um, and if you're over 50, a lot of them have um, like senior classes and senior discounts. And things that are more appropriate for people over 50 instead of all the business and design and all that stuff. They have photography classes. They have watercolor classes. They have um, dance classes. They have dine arounds where you can sign up for um, a four to six month dine around here at Emory. Uh, you join a group of people. You go to different restaurants and try new cuisine. We've got lots of international cuisine here. Um, but there's lots of things that you can do on your own. And look at what it does. It forces you out of your comfort zone. You get to meet new people and you get to try new things. How fun is that? So, but that's just one way. I mean, you can, you can buy a pair of rollerblades and try rollerblading at the park. Now, if you're over 50, take a buddy. <laughs> We're more apt to break things. Um, but if you're under 50, give it a shot. Maybe you won't break anything. Um, but rollerblading, skateboarding, um, gosh, go take a tennis lesson if, you ha if you've never played tennis. Join a flag football league. There are lots of little simple things that you can find in your community. Um, here in our community, um, here in, in Lilburn, specific, specifically in Gwinnett County, we have our Parks and Rec Department here is amazing. We have lots of historical sites and visit, and they might even have tours in a cocktail hour. You get out, you learn something about your area, you have a cocktail, you meet new people. Why not? Get out and enjoy it. They have programs at the local library. They have um, authors come in to speak at local churches and libraries. Check them out. Uh, I've seen Anne Lamott a couple of times here in Atlanta. She uh, visits our Decatur First Baptist Church and speaks there. And she's a wonderful speaker. I love, 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 love listening to her. Brilliant woman. All right, so that's tip number one. We've got quite a few more to go. Uh, we're going to take a break. You're listening to Unstoppable on Inspired Choices Network, and we'll be right back. We all wish we had a few extra hours and a few less things to do in our hurried days. By tuning into Unstoppable, hosted by life purpose coach and marketing maven, Lindy Chafin Start, you'll hear success stories of how other entrepreneurs have uncovered their passions and learned to live a balanced, purposeful life. You'll receive tips and tools to market and grow your business, wrangle the chaos, and design the life you've dreamt of. Learn how to be unstoppable by tuning in to InspiredChoicesNetwork.com every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Central Time, 11 a.m. Mountain Time, and 10 a.m. Pacific Time. This is Unstoppable, 
with Life Purpose Coach and Marketing Maven, Lindy Chafin Start. If you have a question about marketing your small business or finding balance as an entrepreneur, or you're just trying to get up the courage to do your own thing, let Lindy know. You can call in the U.S. 815-880-8255, Canada 613-800-8736, or Skype us at Inspire Choices Network. Now, back to Unstoppable. And welcome back. You're listening to Unstoppable on Inspired Choices Network. This is your host, Lindy Chapin-Start. Um, before we get back into our fun tips on how to show yourself some love, hashtag, I'm making that symbol with my fingers right now, hashtag, show yourself love. Um, I just want to toss out the opportunity to reach out to me through my website at www.unstoppablestart.com. Um, in addition to this fabulous boutique marketing business that I operate and love dearly, um, I am also a life purpose coach and happy to talk through who you are and what your needs are and what inspires you or what fears you have, um, ways that you can take yourself. Let me Let me help you. Pick up the, drop an email, pick up the phone. I'm also at 404-245-7474. Um, let me know what you need. Let's talk it through. The first half hour's on me. <laughs> How about them apples? Okay, so speaking of taking care of yourself, what are you doing to take care of yourself? Daily, weekly, monthly, yearly? Like, I don't know about you, but the first thing for me that goes is, Doctor and dentist appointments. I don't have time. If I can get everybody else, I have two dogs, two cats, and a kid. <laughs> so if I can get my kid to the doctor once a year for a checkup and the dentist twice a year for a checkup, yay. If all four pets make it to the vet for their shots in the year, I am doing great. Am I going to make it? Mm -mm. I'll have time for all that. Uh now, is it something that I need to do? Absolutely. I have two dogs, two cats, and a kid, a kid to take care of. So I really should be stopping to take care of myself and make sure that there's nothing going on that I can't see. Um, but that is truly one of the first things that goes. So take the time, put it on the schedule, make it happen. Doctors and dentist appointments, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Keisha is suggesting that uh, I write a country song. I have two dogs, it's in the kid. I could do that. That'd be pretty funny. Y'all might hear my southern come out. Um, but there are other ways that you can take care of yourself. There are lots of other ways to take care of yourself. Um, one of the things that I try to do daily is walk. It's something that I do before I go into the office. It's something I do before I do the chores. It is that one thing that helps ground me. Um, and I've, because it's been rainy here in the Southeast lately, I've not been able to. I have a gym membership that I pay for monthly that should give me the opportunity to walk. If it is on a treadmill, I do. Do I take advantage of it? No. You know why? Because I don't take care of myself that well. <laughs> But I do walk in nature, and I do like to walk in gratitude, and it seems like I can walk in gratitude better in nature than I can on a treadmill. So I walk when it's sunny out. It doesn't have to be warm. I've walked when it's 20 degrees. It doesn't matter to me. But um, but walking, taking care of your body. Go walk, hike, kayak, uh, rollerblade, run, uh, go to the gym. Don't go to the gym. Do something on your living room floor. Buy one of those weird fitness contraptions that you see on those infomercials you're up at 3 o'clock in the morning because you can't sleep because you're so stressed out about work. But don't let it sit in a box. Unpack it, put it together, and use it. That's another way you can take care of yourself. Meditate. Stop and think. Stop and breathe. Stop and be mindful. Meditate. Uh, you can do an easy meditation in anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes. 
It doesn't have to be spectacular. It's going to make you relax. It's going to make you more thoughtful. It's going to give you space to breathe. I don't know about you, but I forget to breathe. I'm not, I'm not a sire. You know, you know, lots of people who sigh when they're frustrated. I don't sigh. You'll catch me go <gasps> because I forget to breathe. That's kind of scary. But do. <laughs> so, um, so stop. Take care of yourself. It's a huge, huge, huge part of it. Again, that's just a couple of min- minor little ways that you can take care of yourself. Um, you can eat more healthfully, you know, instead of uh, having bacon, eggs, and grits for breakfast, have a shake instead. Don't eat as much or eat something a little more healthy for you. Have a salad for lunch. Eat from Whole Foods instead of boxes. That's a great way to take care of yourself. Do these things that help um, support the best you. That's really what you want to get to, ultimately, right? We all want to be our best selves. Um, You know, and if you have a, a higher self, a higher power, God, universe, have a conversation. Say a prayer. Talk it out. And like I said, I, I when I walk, I try to walk in gratitude. It's kind of my way of of meditating um, and reminding myself, like of all the little tiny things, all the way down to the UPS man or the receptionist at the UPS office. You know, um, all of those those things and those people that you kind of take for granted. I am so truly grateful for our home and my daughter and a car that runs and our furry family. But I'm also grateful for the clerks at the grocery stores and the, um, the folks at the power company who make sure that we've got lights and internet and gas and water every day. It's, it's all those fun things, the birds, the bees, the, you know, the water for the grand scheme, the grass, the trees. There's so much to be grateful for. So, I highly recommend walking in gratitude. Um, And if you can't walk in gratitude, then every step you take, make one step a thank and the next step a you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's just another way to practice gratitude. You don't have to be grateful about anything specific, but be grateful that legs can carry you around that track. Be grateful for what you do have. I'm not trying not to be inclusive, but it's just an example. Everybody has a reason to be grateful, something to be grateful for. It's a, it's a hard thing to remember when you're struggling, especially when you're pedaling upstream and you're dragging somebody next to you and there's nobody to pull you out, which is why I do it. <clears throat> okay. Lots of ways to take care of yourself, folks. So another fun way, I kind of see this as taking care of yourself, but it also gets you out of your comfort zone. How about just doing a little traveling on your own? Just you. What? Did you, what did, did you faint? You're not with me anymore? Yeah, you. Just you. Buy a plane ticket. Get on an airplane. Get in the car. Go to one place for two days that you've never been by yourself. A winery, a new city, out of the country. (gasps) What? I wouldn't know what to do with myself. (laughs) But I was actually um, entertaining a friend. Annalise brought a little girlfriend after school yesterday and her mom came over and we had a glass of wine and we're chatting and One of my dream things is to travel to the places that have shown up in my family's DNA. Now, I'm not from many countries. (laughs) My DNA started really big, but now that we've got a huge DNA sample, we've gotten it down. So I've got um, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, Great Britain, and Sweden. Those are my countries of origin which seems really bizarre to me. Um, So those five places are places I would, now I would love 
to visit those places with my daughter. But I would love to visit those places on my own. Imagine what I could discover. And then imagine what we could discover together. So it might be that two trips are in order instead of just one. We're talking about you and your business. I'm just giving you examples of how I would take care of me or how I hire to take care of me or how I do take care of me, hopefully to give you some good ideas. So, yeah, get out and do a little exploring. One of my things, uh, once it gets warmer, I bought a kayak not too long ago. I'm going to go put in over at Stone Mountain, which is not far from here. There's a beautiful lake over there and a big hunk of granite that likes to be paddled around. So (laughs) I'm going to go put the kayak in and just paddle around the lake by myself. That's traveling. It's not here at the house. It's 15 minutes down the road. And it gets me out of my comfort zone. It gets me in nature. And I have lots of things to be grateful for. So travel locally. Travel internationally. But travel a bit. Get out of your comfort zone. Get out and explore and learn some new things. Oh, now this is a tough one. Uh, What about trusting yourself? This is one of those, like each one of these could seriously take up its own hour-long show, right? (laughs) But what about trusting yourself? When you're a small business owner, no matter where you fall in there, brand new, uh, seasoned, it doesn't matter. One of the hardest things to do, and I think we run into this as women. Keisha, you can nod your head. Um, I think we we lack trust in our own instincts. And if you've been through a lot in life and you've had people create doubt in you, even though you shouldn't, you know, try not to do that if you can help it, but it happens. It's very easy to internalize when somebody questions your knowledge or your abilities, um, you begin to let go of that, oh, my gut's saying to do this. I'm not going to listen to it because every time I listen to my gut, it, I get screwed over. Well, you've got to trust your gut on some level. Um, and, and practicing that is is not easy. So, I'm going to give you an exercise, and then we're going to go to break. Um, Go out this afternoon when you leave work, when you leave the office, when you go to pick up your child, and when you come to a stop sign or a crossroad, and you don't, don't have anywhere to go, already have picked up your child. Let's just see where it's going to take you. Get to a stop sign. What are you going to do? Ask yourself, am I making a left or am I making a right? You don't have anywhere to go. Am I making a left or am I making a right? And go with your gut. Come to the next stop sign. Am I making a left or am I making a right? And just keep doing it until something shows up in your field of vision that says, here, and have ice cream with your kid. Or stop here and get your nails done. Or, hey, Grab a bottle of wine, whatever it is. Just keep making a left or a right until you get used to trusting your gut because you're going to end up where you're meant to be. That's we are going to take another break. You are listening to Unstoppable on Inspired Choices Network, and we'll be right back. We all wish we had a few extra hours and a few less things to do in our hurried days. By tuning into Unstoppable, Hosted by Life Purpose Coach and Marketing Maven, Lindy Chafin Start, you'll hear success stories of how other entrepreneurs have uncovered their passions and learned to live a balanced, purposeful life. You'll receive tips and tools to market and grow your business, wrangle the chaos, and design the life you've dreamt of. Learn how to be unstoppable by tuning in to InspiredChoicesNetwork.com every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Central Time, 11 a.m. Mountain Time, and 10 a.m. Pacific Time. Are you a subject matter expert? 
Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is Unstoppable with Life Purpose Coach and Marketing Maven, Lindy Chafin Start. If you have a question about marketing your small business or finding balance as an entrepreneur, or you're just trying to get up the courage to do your own thing, let Lindy know. You can call in the U.S. 815-880-8255, Canada 613-800-8736, or Skype us at Inspire Choices Network. Now, back to Unstoppable. And welcome back. All right, I'm going to stop running my mouth so much, or maybe I won't. We'll see. Um, you're listening to Unfull. This is your host, Lindy Chaven Start, and we are on Inspired Choices Network. If you have any questions or comments, please jump into our chat room um, or give us a call. We would love to to have a conversation, be able to answer your questions. Um, so we're talking about fun ways to take care of yourself and potentially your business. Um, <clears throat> without breaking the bank today. Show yourself some love. The hashtag going on. Um, depending on what school of thought you come from, forgiveness can be huge. And I'm all about um, finding my way to forgiving myself. Now, I realize everything happens for a reason. Um, I realize that I'm not always in the wrong and have no need to be sorry. But when I do make mistakes that I perceive as mistakes, and this is all on me, this is my own feeling, my own perception, uh, it has nothing to do with fact or harm or any of that. This is honestly just me seeing things the way I see things. And sometimes I have to forgive myself for seeing the way that I see things. But um, forgiving yourself for your mistakes is a huge thing. It's a huge practice to be able to do. Um, it is something that I try to do weekly in my um, dream book and planner that I get from Dragon Tree every year. There's a space in here. I'll read it to you. What slash whom are you going to forgive? Uh, <laughs> sometimes that's just one person's name. And if y'all have been listening to me, you know who that is. Um, sometimes it's me. Sometimes I get my feelings hurt, you know. But nine times out of ten, it's me. I'm a, I have to forgive myself for making the mistakes that I do. Um, and there's not a day that go by, goes by that in my perception or in the public's perception, I don't make a mistake. I'm human. I've never known anybody to not, to be mistake-free for an entire lifetime. <laughs> um, sometimes you take too much on and you say you can do something when you really... And then you have to beg forgiveness later or you have to kill yourself to get it done. Um, that's one thing. When we over we overextend ourselves, that's hard. Um, and it's, you know, it's okay to look at it and go, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. That's on me. But I can forgive myself for doing it. And I can eat crow or I can get it done. Whatever you need to do to make it better. But for um, 
know that whatever's past is past. And if you can let it go, whether you need to ritualize it by writing it on a piece of paper and throwing it in a fire or burying it in the front yard, <laughs> or if you just say, I forgive myself for making that mistake, write it down in a journal, whatever you need to do. Um, just let it go. It's gone. Let it go. Nobody else is thinking about it but you. So it's time to move on. And with that, it's time to move on. <laughs> um, ooh, give yourself a credit is give yourself credit where credit is due. I love this. Um, I was actually on a chat a couple of weeks ago. Might have been longer than that now with my other ICN hosts here and um, producer owner gal of all trades Christine was saying do you think you're famous <laughs> and I just kind of laughed at it um, but you know you just don't you don't think about it when you're walking around in daily life like holy crap I'm, I'm on iHeartRadio I have a radio show every Wednesday wow that's cool uh, you can Google me, and something besides family pictures shows up. I am famous. Um, or, you know what? I am a rock star mom. I am a rock star business owner. I am a survivor. I'm going to give myself credit where credit is due. Now, I won't do it every day. I forget unless I'm unless I get out and do my walk and I start my walk with I am. I am. I am beautiful. I am talented. I am brilliant. I am strong. I am a survivor. <laughs> Sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes it takes the form of an affirmation. Sometimes it's just a word. Sometimes it's an I am. And it's OK. I give you permission to be. All of those things. You are a rock star. Own it. If you got out of bed this morning, made yourself a cup of coffee, by God, you are a rock star. Got a kid out the door, went to work, went to your own place of business, did a project, rock star. Own it. Give yourself credit where credit is due. You deserve it. We all do. Why do you think we mope around as much as we do? Why do you think we get emotional? Because we live our lives in our heads. <laughs> we live our lives thinking, I am in this on my own. You could have a home and still feel like you're in it on your own. You could have a half a dozen siblings and still feel alone. You are doing a great job. You're doing a great job at life. You're doing a great job as a parent, as a business owner, as a daughter, a brother, a sister, a son. A, you're just, you're doing it. Every day, you're doing it. Own it. You are a rock star. I am a rock star. About this life, loving it instead of feeling like we're not worthy. Because we are. Okay. It. Where credit is due. What did you accomplish today? Do an inventory before you go to bed tonight. Done today. I will have programmed landing pages, three geotargeting campaigns, done a few Facebook radio show, been famous for a minute. <laughs> Be the rock star you are. Give yourself credit. It's okay. Okay. Um, oh, surprise yourself from time to time. Surprise. How do you surprise yourself? Doesn't that sound like a funny statement? Well, um, if you are budget conscious, it's very easy to refrain from surprising yourself. But... Um, you can make room for this. You can do it. Surprise yourself. 
if somebody says, do you remember, do y'all remember that that movie? Yes, it was it Jim Carrey in that one, um, where he was just he was a bit of a curmudgeon, kind of like we all find ourselves being after you know working in the basement all day <laughs> and raising the kids, um, and he went to see this guru on stage, and the guru challenged him to say yes. Don't ever say no again. If somebody asks you to do something, say yes. So this is how you're going to surprise yourself. You're going to say yes instead of no. Hey, would you like to go see a movie this weekend? This is really lightweight. Yes. Don't say no. Fifteen bucks, go see a movie. You can handle it. You get a a flyer from somebody standing on a street corner. Massage Heights just opened up. Would you like to try a massage today? What's the answer? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Do it. Go get yourself a massage. You deserve it. Surprise yourself. Would you like to have coffee? Can I join you? Go out to dinner by yourself and see if anybody offers. Or go out to dinner by yourself. And ask if you see another person sitting alone, may I join you? Talk about a surprise. I know who you're going to meet. Get out there and enjoy it. Okay. Um, Quite a few to go here, so I'm going to start talking a little faster. Give yourself a break. You know, I'm not talking about the... Oh, I always get into trouble. It'll be all right, kind of break. I mean, schedule half an hour into your day for you. Give yourself a break. Take a break from the office. Take a break from the kids. Take a break from the spouse. Take a break from the phone, the computer, the tablet. Go lay in the hammock. Take a break. Breathe. This doesn't have anything to do with meditating. This is just being alone, being with yourself. This is taking a break. And as busy as we all are these days, sometimes you have to put it in the calendar. Sometimes you have to put it in the phone and give yourself the one hour before reminder and the five minute before reminder. But make it happen. Take a break. If it's in the middle of mass chaos at homework slash dinner slash getting the clothes ready for tomorrow time, schedule it. Make it happen. Let everybody else deal with it for once. You don't need to wash the dishes tonight, too. You've done that for the last 364 nights. Let somebody else pick it up tonight. You go take a break. Make it happen. You can do it. I believe in you. And come back and talk about our final tips on showing yourself some love. Listening to, um, you're listening to me. I've forgotten my name. It's Lindy Chafin Start. And this is, and we'll be back in just a minute. We all wish we had a few extra hours and a few less things to do in our hurried days. By tuning into Unstoppable, hosted by life purpose coach and marketing maven, Lindy Chafin Start, you'll hear success stories of how other entrepreneurs have uncovered their passions and learned to live a balanced, purposeful life. You'll receive tips and tools to market and grow your business, wrangle the chaos, and design the life you've dreamt of. Learn how to be unstoppable by tuning in to InspiredChoicesNetwork.com every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Central Time, 11 a.m. Mountain Time, and 10 a.m. Pacific Time. This is Unstoppable with Life Purpose Coach and Marketing Maven, Lindy Chafin Start. If you have a question about marketing your small business or finding balance as an entrepreneur, or you're just trying to get up the courage to do your own thing, let Lindy know. You can call in the U.S. 815-880-8255, Canada 613-800-8736, or Skype us at Inspire Choices Network. Now, back to Unstoppable.
And welcome back. You are listening to little old me, Lindy Chafin, start on Unstoppable here on the Inspired Choices Network. We're going to blow through our final tips on showing yourself some love. Um, One of the things that I do daily is journal, and I highly recommend it um, for lots of reasons. One, it kind of helps get all of those thoughts that are in your head on paper um, so that you're clearing the way for bigger and better things, focus, positivity. I mean, there are lots of different ways you would you would utilize that brain space, right? <laughs> it doesn't have to be one particular. But um, journaling just kind of helps get anything out. Um, it helps get any... Uh, anything that's really just eating at you, not necessarily negative, but something that's bugging you. It could even be an earworm. If you've got a song in your head that you can't get rid of, write down all the lyrics that you can remember in your journal. (laughs) I know that sounds silly, but it'll go away if you do that. Um, Yeah, journaling is just one of those things. Make it, if if it's the first thing you do in the morning or the lab at night. Um, The other thing it does is it gives you a a space to come back to. How did I handle that situation way back when? I have journals. Um, I actually started writing journals when my daughter's dad left. And it was, it started out as an exercise to kind of help her someday be able to understand what all we went through. But at the same time, it was me getting stuff out on paper. Um, And it helped me a great deal. Then it morphed into just a daily recounting of our lives. Um, And it's something that I'll be able to give her when she's old enough to read it. Um, I'll be able to gift that to her so that she has some of our history. And there's stuff in there about people and friends and her friends and my friends and our homes and creatures and critters and it's just one of those things it's your it's your history it's just a different way to take a photograph snapshot it so definitely keep a journal it can just be a notebook to be anything leather bound or fancy um here's a great way to learn how to love yourself and if you take on to do by being room mom and Girl Scout troop leader, how'd I get suckered into that? Um, love yourself by saying no sometimes. Now, I know I said a little while ago, say yes. But there's also a perfectly appropriate time to say no. Oh, come on. Your, your teacher needs... A room mom, you can do that. You work from home. It's not like you have to be somewhere every day. You're in free. It's only emailing. (laughs) No. It's that simple. No. I don't have the bandwidth to do that right now. You know what? You can even say it to a client. Hey. I've got a social media campaign that I need done. It's going to be a 365 campaign. Here's my idea. No. Are you handing away money? Mm-hmm. Are you handing away a big old pain in the butt? Mm-hmm. Sure are. And that's it. If you don't have the bandwidth to do it, no. Okay. Um, giving yourself credit where credit's due is cool, but... Make it a little bit more official. Sit down with the paper and write out your accomplishments. I dare you. Start from as far back as you can remember. I walked. (laughs) You you might not be able to remember that far back, depending on where you are. Um, I have accomplished lots of wonderful things in my life, but... Start as far back as you can remember and work your way forward and then read back through it and add stuff to it and think about years that you forgot. You have accomplished a lot. 
a lot in your lifetime. I don't even know how old you are. You could be 19 and you still accomplish a lot in your lifetime. I'm almost 47. I don't know if I can remember as much as I have forgotten at this point, but I've accomplished a lot. Bought a house, bought a car, built a couple of houses, had a kid, was a room mom, a Girl Scout troop leader, started my business. <laughs> I've done a lot of things in my life. And so have you. So make a list and keep it somewhere special so you can look back on it every day if you need to or even just when you're feeling down, like you're not accomplishing anything. Guess what? You are. Own it. Love it. Live it. You got it. You can do it. One of my favorite things to do every year is make a vision board. You don't have to wait and do it yearly. You can do it whenever you want to. The vision board is so much fun. Um, think about one, three, five, ten years, whatever it is that you want to aspire to in those time periods. I've shared with you before that one of my lifetime goals is to um, be a Pulitzer Prize winner in the literature category. Uh, I think I can transcribe one of these radio shows and submit it and I'll win. No, just kidding. Um, seriously, make a vision board of what it is that you want to do. And if that includes a Pulitzer, then put it on your vision board. If that includes buying a house, a new car, a family, whatever that means to you, Put it on your vision board and put it where you can see it and look at it every single day. Make a new one. You know what I've heard, and I've actually had this happen to me, is um, I've looked back on boards in the past and I've heard of other people who've done this too and gone, wow, that's where I am right now. When did I make this board? And you look and you're like, wow, I can't, wow, I intended for this to happen and look what happened. It'll it'll blow your socks off. It's the craziest thing. Try new things. Pursue new interests. We're going to run out of time really fast. But remember what I was talking about, those classes? Um, whether they're continuing ed classes or they're leisure classes, try something new for yourself. Take a painting class. Take a voice lesson. Um, get out and try something that challenges you. And definitely challenge yourself. So. I'm going to share this last story, and then I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, when I win the lottery, I want to rent out the Met and sing on stage to an audience of no one. That's my challenge. Now, you go be unstoppable. Have a great week. Thank you for being Inspired Choices Network's most valuable asset and for tuning in to Unstoppable. Host Lindy Chafin Start will return next Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Central Time, 11 a.m. Mountain Time, and 10 a.m. Pacific Time with more valuable tips to support you and your small business. Until then, be unstoppable.